Alright, here we've got uh, Circus of Tim Tim, being played on Xbox Series X, Crazy Blue Entertainment. Uh, this is a stealth horror game. <laughs> we play as one of two siblings trying to sneak into one of those haunted uh, attractions in the world. Uh, play in the per first person perspective. Uh, you have to gather items uh, by using a metal detector once you find it. Uh, the game definitely does a great job being creepy. Uh, real creepy. <laughs> real quick. Uh, so you have to gather uh, golden tickets. And this first section here you have to gather, I think it's five or six golden tickets. And uh, when you do that, this horrifying giant monstrosity comes after you. It's one of the monsters that hunts you um, in the uh, Tim Tim Circus. So if you come in here, uh, the gate will close, you have to grab the metal detector, uh, and then you have to grab the golden tickets. I'll grab him here. It's one. Um, my only complaint with this game thus far is how touchy uh, the controls are. Uh, <laughs> they're a little too sensitive. And I've even gone through the process to uh, take the sensitivity down. But still, they're a tad bit too sensitive. You turn really, really easily. And I think a part of that is due to the nature of the game with the... Uh, Big giant enemies that, that, that stalk you, essentially. Uh, there is a reason why they are locked up. Don't open. Oh, yeah, right? Creepy, that's for sure. Alright, so I hit the uh, menu button here. You can see how many tickets I've gotten. I've gotten three so far. Here's the metal detector. It's utilized to find items. Uh, here we've got a piece of paper. The circus, which was a beloved destination for children, now faces a chilling enigma as several human workers have vanished under mysterious circumstances. Tim Tim Circus was named after one of their most famous life size puppets, Baby Tim Tim. The circus is renowned for its captivating puppet shows and its life size puppet performers. Years prior, protests erupted outside the circus grounds following allegations of mistreatment towards the puppets used in performances. Some demonstrators claim the puppets are sentient beings with real feelings, subjected to cruelty, while others argue they are merely practical effects. The circus now grapples with the explained, unexplained disappearance of its staff and have been closed down. Witnesses who live nearby claim to have heard cries emanating from the vicinity inside the circus, though no official confirmation has been made. Amid controversy over allegations of mistreatment towards the life-size puppets, speculation arises whether a sudden rebellion against captivity is linked to the missing personnel. Whatever the real reason may be, we all know one thing that is these puppets once locked in their cages for us to enjoy now seem to harbor a desire for freedom. The circus once a symbol of joy now stands silent as the mystery, as the mystery behind the puppet exodus deepens. If anyone have any questions or information regarding this mystery, you can contact 728-001-002 at your local station report. Now, I kind of like the fact that you can, um, uh, you can, uh, look at these documents and that actually doesn't say anything until you actually, actually hit the button to read it. That's kind of a nice touch. Alright, so I need more tickets. I've got three, I need, I think, five. Here. And then there should be one. It's up here? No. It's not. It's up here? No. That's paper out oh, here's the ticket there we go all right now we got all the tickets now we can go to the gate and we can open it up 
Now, you can pick up items that you can utilize to distract the enemy. You can't throw it at them. I mean, you can, but nothing will happen. Uh, it'll just continue to chase you. So if I come out here, the cage is going to blow up, the baby's going to come out. And I'm going to come back in here, I'm going to have to run over here to this box, get in the box, and wait for the puppet to leave. Now, one thing I don't like about the game, outside of the touchy controls, is that you can literally have the baby or enemy in front of you come into this box, or into a box, and it will sit there as if it doesn't know you're in the box, and it will get bored and just walk away. Uh, I wish it was a little better uh, AI than that. I wish that it would uh, that would go ahead and be able to get you out of the box, uh, or out of the hiding place you're in, but unfortunately, it just doesn't do that. But uh, overall, the game's a lot of fun. Um, it's interactive. It's creepy. Extremely creepy. Um, I like the fact that it's placed inside of a, a, like a carnival, and it's kind of cool. I have a neat, uh, neat location. Um, lots of really cool things to look at. Uh, the graphics could have been done a little bit better, I think. Um, better tuning style graphics don't do the game all that much justice, but it's definitely still a great, fun experience for a stealth horror game. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read here. I want to thank you for watching the entertainment for the opportunity. I'll thank you for watching. Thank you for driving. As always, the next time. Thank you and have a good